What's up guys, my name is Dr. Kazraz. Welcome back to Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Last time, I was basically uh, doing a bunch of stupid stuff and procrastinating before I actually did the story stuff. But, uh, I figured out what to do. And well, last time we were trying to collect Ilya's memories and we followed a nasty scent because the doctor decided to use Ilya's statue as a... Uh... Well, okay, we're not going to talk about it. But, uh, we followed the trail to a cat, that white cat we saw before. I forgot the cat's name. And she told us, or he told us, I can't remember what the cat is. They told us that the statue got stolen by these, uh, skeletal hellhounds. So, we gotta wait till nighttime. And of course, I was just, I was just about to, you know, get it last episode. But, uh, the daytime nighttime cycle is kind of weird. I feel like it's broken because I've been standing here forever and it's still daytime. Yet, yeah, when it was nighttime, it changed. Or whatever. But no matter. We're gonna do this puzzle as you can see me clearly trying to do. As I'm trying to like talk in the background. Alright, let's try it. There we go. I tried to do this earlier to see if I can do it and I fucking fell off. Alright, finally, here we go. Gotta use all your puzzle. I wish you guys could see how I have to aim with this. I literally have the Wii U like bent up to my face right now. Come on. So if you think it's like me being bad aim, it just no. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm stupid. People are like, "Oh my God, you're so stupid." Well, guess what? I didn't play. I, I didn't play Wind Waker that much, so I didn't know. I didn't know you're supposed to do this. I mean, I always have a trouble getting this. These two chests over here, they're always such a pain. <laughs> Imagine like some guards come out or someone just like walks out. They don't even know Link's here and like just falls on top of them. That'd be funny. And I didn't notice this, but Link has like one gauntlet only on one hand. I didn't, oh, on one arm. I didn't notice that. Actually, I remember there was a GameCube controller kind of built like that. Where it had Link's one leather side on it. But it, you know, is really really com uncomfortable to hold. I mean, I wouldn't know because I didn't... There's only two made in existence, but... I think there's only two in existence. But you can tell just by looking at it, it's really uncomfortable. It'd be weird. Awkward. What? I mean, at least it's 100 rupees, but... No, I can't even spend it! I thought it was a heart piece. What is that one? How do you get that one? Alright, well, it's almost nighttime. I know where another bug is. How do you get this one? This one's always eluded me. Hmm. I really don't know. Oh, well. We'll figure it out later. Uh, right now, I gotta go get that bug. I've seen this area over here, too. There's a bunch of, of these birds, and uh, last time we killed a bunch of these birds over by... Uh, by uh the Kakariko uh village uh yeah we got the boy village boy village boy ladybug last time we were over by Kakariko village these things were f flying around and we got a lot of money oh wait I shouldn't kill them all right I'm not gonna kill them I'm just gonna see if there's something up here I should really donate my money oh there is this oh wait I don't want to go in here all right I'm gonna check to see if there is a, uh, what's it called, a Poe inside here. If there isn't, I'm not even going to bother with it until after. Because there's more than likely either a stamp or rupees in there. And I really need the money, well, because you're going to need it. And I'm going to just dig in here, because those things are really annoying. While we wait, I'm going to try to look at this, because, like, how the hell do you do that? I feel like it's something really obvious, too. Wait a minute. How obvious is this one? Okay. I thought I was gonna say, there's no way it'd be that easy. They don't do that. It's not a wooden chest. But yeah, this guy, I was trying to get him last time, but he literally disappeared. I killed him. Scra! Like that. But then he just despawned. The nerve. Oh, I meant to say Scra! We got a pole soul. Okay. Was there a bug over there or a pole? 
keep saying pole. It's funny. Okay. Let's go find those skeleton doggies. Oh, hey there. These are these guys. These ruffians. Ha, <laughs> get it? Ruff. Hey, no roughhousing. I guess you could say their bark was bigger than their bite. You got the wooden statue. This oddly shaped statue is said to have once belonged to Ilya. Might be a clue that will help Ilya get her memory back. Sorry, I was just looking at the shape of it. Ugh, look at all that money. My OCD tells me to pick it up, even though I can't really keep it. Alright, so now we don't need to go back there. So now let's warp. To Kakariko Village, we go. Because we gotta bring Ilya her memory. And also donate some stuff. But it's nighttime, so we're gonna not be able to donate some stuff. Unfortunately, and I'm keep getting paranoid. I went outside and like right now there's like a really bad tick season And I'm just like paranoid because I always get ticks on me and I fucking hate it Why me? I need a pet possum. Oh I don't want that <laughs> You don't need to attack it Relax, it's fine Yeah, let's go to the sanctuary Oh yeah, we can't let people see my uh Alternate disguise. We're like the Moon Knight. Except for the Twilight. Sorry, I keep bumping my mic. I was trying to adjust it. Okay, let's equip our statue. Give it to Ilya. Whoa, it glows. What is this? I... I remember something. I was confined somewhere, yes, and I was I was saved by whoever was confined with me. And then that person set me free. They gave me the statue. Yes, yes, I remember that much, but that means that person is still in trouble. Oh, what is wrong with me? I can't remember where that place was. I remember. I thought I had seen that before somewhere. That belonged to the tribe protected by the Hylian royal family long ago. They worked in secret. See, they lived in a lonely, forgotten place, but I heard that tribe dwindled in the prolo prolonged wars. If you want to find that hidden village, look for a path leading to the Lanayru province on the far side of the Bridge of Helden. But a rock slide blocked the way to the village long ago, so you can't get there anymore. What? Oh, I do not mean to worry you, little human. Problems like these are not problems to Gorons. Understands. Oh, our patriarch Darbus will be waiting for you up ahead. Look at your map to see where. I will try to find the path beyond the bridge of Elden that leads to the Lair Province. Oh, she's so cute. Okay. Whoa. It's so dark. I like how you can actually see outside. Oh, I wonder what it looks like out there. Just, you know, break the camera and see what looks outside. Is this one open too? Nope, just that one. Alright, well, we gotta go, um, find that hidden village. That's gonna be weird. A hidden village we haven't seen yet? Hmm. But it said to check our map, so I guess we might as well. That's not the map. How do you open the map on the screen? Okay, well, I can see the map. But you guys can't see the map, so that, that doesn't matter, okay? As long as I can see the map, that's alright. But actually, you know, I can probably show you right here. Someone will see. Oh my god, it's just a Goron and his eyes are closed. And Epona. Unless Epona's the snitch. I think Epona's the snitch. It was Epona all along. Where's the Bridge of Elden? Bridge of Elden. Elden Bridge. Is that where he is? Let's go! Okay. There should be a village. Ooh. Oh. Alright. Is that a bug or a poe? Whoa. 
I think it's a bug. I think we already got that bug. Alright, it said it on the far side. Oh, I, th I see. Wait. Oh yeah, I do see, I do see. Stupid me. Alright, we're going this way. Because there's a red flag on the map. I don't think you can see it, but that's where we're supposed to go. But it's so pretty that it's nighttime, though. I really like it. Now we get to travel with Minna, see the beautiful world in the world of light. World of light. Oh, actually, I'm going to stop right here real quick. Because there's actually a uh, heart piece over here. We're going to get it. We're going to get the heart piece because I want it. Come on, dig, diggy hole. This better be the heart piece, I swear to God. If it's rupees... Holy shit! Stop. They got dead guys here. See, this is literally... Literally. See, I'm going to say literally again. I like how uh, some items require you to... Like, you know... You got to use certain items to do stuff, but like... They have the enemies inside of those little mini dungeons. So like, since we got the top... Over in the Gruda area, we got some Gruda enemies right here. The Stalfos. Let's quickly blow this guy up before he respawns. <gasps> oh, God. <sighs> okay. Sorry. I was getting flustered. I know I sound like I was tripping over my words and talking like an idiot. But when do I not talk like that? Bombs. Nice. I need more of those. Nice! We open up bombs, and we get the special chest, which is most likely a stamp. More than likely a stamp. Let's bet. I'm going to bet it's a stamp. More bombs! We need those, too. Five bombs? What? Could have sworn I would have more than that. Oh, seeds. I knew it was a heart piece. Told you. Alright, now we gotta get back to what we were doing. Perfect. You know, this game is really great. It's a nice rainy day outside right now. And well, I was kind of not having, well, not, you know, not having a bad day. I was just getting a little annoyed. And well, kinda glad to play this game and relax a bit. And this is the cave, I'm pretty sure. Certain Yep. Jeez. Look at him. Oh there is a hidden village up ahead, little human. The others call it a forgotten place. This scent that has been burning my nostrils, it is the scent of evil. There is one powerful creature I have seen about, but under that beast are many minions who attack and plunder like a pack of hyenas. There are 30, no, at most 20 of them ahead. They are probably just a small band of survivors, ragged remnants, who have settled leaderless into this village. If that is all there are, little human, then you alone are more than enough for them. But you will have to defeat them all to save the girl's benefactor. Before you go, I will tell you the secret to besting them. Destroy all of them before they spot you. Got a little human? Uh, thanks. I mean, I kind of already figured that. Alright, let's get into it. Alright guys, this is Kakariko Village from Ocarina of Time. Actually, whoo, whoo. Okay, remember what Darbus said. 
Don't let them see you, but you know. But you know, I'm a link. Actually, I'm awesome. You know, I'm actually doing a lot better than I thought I would. I'm trying to be quiet, because this music's great. This is supposed to be, like, a Western kind of thing. And honestly... Oh, God. Holy shit! Are these bomb arrows? No, they're just regular arrows. Well, crap. Um, so yeah, what I was saying, if you guys haven't played Link's Crossbow Training, I'm pretty sure most of the areas take place in here. Oh, they saw me. I ruined it. Okay, well, I did pretty good most of the time. Come here, you. Huh. Oh, I remember this room. Alright, I love this place. This makes me feel like a... I like how they make Link like a cowboy. I wonder if they would ever do a Zelda game like that. Like a total western. I want That'd be cool. I feel like they tried to do that with Link's crossbow training, but like, you know, it didn't really make sense. But it's kind of cool that they did it, you know. I guess maybe after I'm done playing this game, I'll probably give... Link's crossbow training a try, because I do own it. Because it's not hard to get. I also own the uh, thing you have to use with it, too. Oh, I stopped your arrow right before you hit me. I'm awesome. Pull oh, right in the crotch. Oh, and you hit your balls off the bar. I hear someone with a chicken. Come on, where are you? Are you in here? No. Where are they? Gotta be in here. Yep. Oh, thanks for the arrows. Thanks. Whew. Oh, I totally wish I could, like, just strike him down. Break the table instead. Whoa, who's that guy? It looks like me, dude. I have a mustache just like that right now. Whoa. That is me. <laughs> Talk about the poster if you don't see it. I'll go look at it when we have a chance. And who's this guy? I'm just kidding. It's, it's a girl. It's a woman. The howls of the beast, they faded into silence. See that, that poster of that guy? He looks like me. Wait, are you? The savior. It's you, the savior. Please, please forgive me for not opening up the door. My name is Impaz. I'm the last resident of this poor village. My name comes from the Great One who built this village so long ago. This village was once the secret home of a proud tribe who served the royal family. But it fell into decline and became infested with dangerous beasts. It's become an awful place. Excuse me for asking, but is your name Link? Oh, I knew it. So then you saved that nice girl. How lovely. When she was here, she would often cheer me up, saying that you would come to help. That sweet girl, she worried about this old woman, even, even as I helped her to escape from here. By royal order, I cannot leave this place until a certain person arrives, no matter what terrible fate is visited upon it. Oh, oh but listen to me, Blatheron. I have a favor to ask you. Would you help me return this to her? I think she always kept it close to her heart, but even though... So, she didn't hesitate to part with it in order to protect me. You got Ilya's charm. Ilya left this charm with the woman who saved her. This is the key to getting Ilya's memory back. I believe in my heart that it 
kept me safe all this time. So please, I ask that you return it to that girl. All right. Um. Let's go inside our house. <laughs> That was good. Honestly, this place is great. But you know what's even better about this place? Wait. Wait. Where are all the kitties? Where are all the cats? There was a ton of cats here last time. Where did they go? I'm a little pissed off. I wonder if I give this... So do I give her the rod now? Or do I go give her Ilium back her thing? Hey, that rod! Oh my god. That rod. Like, what are you doing? She's an old lady. Is that the Dominion Rod? Ah, uh, could it really be? Are you the messenger to the heavens? Among the legends of my clan, there is a story from the time when the Uka still remained contact with the royal family. Yes, it's said that a mysterious rod was handed down from the people of the sky, and it was called the Dominion Rod. That rod was the only to be carried by the messenger to the heavens when the royal family needed to communicate with Luca. From generation to generation, my ancestors have guarded the book that by royal decree was to be given to the messenger to the heavens. This is that book. Please take it. You got the ancient sky book, a book written in the ancient sky language, a crucial word in it is missing some characters. This is a hint of finding a path to the sky. This book is written in the ancient language of sky writing. I'm so glad I stayed in this village. If I had not met that young girl, what would have become of me? Meaning that girl must have been ordained by the gods so that I could be here today to pass on this knowledge. Well, um, okay. I think I'm going to end it off right here. If you guys did like this and you want to see more videos by me, why not hit the like button and subscribe to see more Legends of Zelda videos. Next time, we're going to be going to get Ilya her memories and also get... Find the missing letters to the path to the sky. See you guys next time in a brand new video. Bye.